Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, so today I'm going to talk about this word, Kai Sen. Uh, I learned this word when I was getting my writing corrected by my teacher earlier today. So in this writing here, I was talking about uh, like a name that I would want, want to have if I was born in Japan. And uh, during that writing, I was talking about seafood. So that's what this means. Seafood. Kaisen is seafood. I, I didn't know that before, but anyway, this is how I memorize the word Kaisen for seafood. So normally when I think of seafood, I think of like Kaiten sushi or Kaiten sushi. So that's how I got the Kai. So seafood then Kaiten sushi. So Kai comes from there. And then after that, Sen. Like whenever I go to the Kaiten sushi or the all you can, not all you can eat, that, uh, conveyor belt sushi. I usually pay about senen, which is a thousand yen. It's like ten dollars. So senen, just get that sen from here for that last part. So at the Kai Ten Sushi place here, Kai, I pay one thousand yen, which is senen, so sen, Kai Sen. That's how I got Kai Sen. Uh, as for the kanji, like the first and second kanji, I didn't really have to memorize the first one because I already knew it from this word right here. This is Hokkaido. That's like North Beach Road. It's also a place in Japan. So that one was easy. Once I saw that, I just think of Hokkaido, and Hokkaido is known for seafood. But for the second one, I haven't really memorized that yet. You can probably replace that with a different uh, kanji. But one thing that's pretty helpful, uh, let me make this a little bit bigger. Mm. Yeah, so for for this second one, you can see on the left-hand side, the radical, that is the same radical for fish. So that will help me memorize it. So I know that the kanji for seafood has two. There's two kanji for it. First one, it's going to be the same one from Hokkaido, the second one. And then this uh, the last one, the radical on the left is going to be the same as the one for fish. So this thing here, I... I'm not really familiar with that. I think that uh, that may, might mean Western, maybe uh, like uh, Western food, maybe. Uh, anyway, uh, for kanji, I haven't really memorized that, so I, I'm not really worried about that. As long as I can get this first kanji and then the f first radical on the left for the second kanji, I sh think I should be good. So I'll just I'll just uh, ignore this part right now. But yeah. Anyway, that's how I memorized the word for seafood. Uh, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.